Hi folks, Dave Wright from the, the Bear Chair Company and today we are going to assemble a, a BC800 love seat out of pine material. So first thing I like to do um, when I'm starting a project like this is take all the parts out of the box, stack them up in a logical order like I have here. Um, there's two different sizes of screws in this kit, in this chair, and uh, <clears throat> keep them separate because uh, in, in the instruction sheet it definitely says when to use long screws and when to use short screws. So we're going to start with uh, step number one. And uh, before we start building these chairs, we like to have outdoor glue. Um, to glue the parts together. It, it, they stay together way better. Um, so if you don't have any glue, I would recommend you got, go out and get some right now before you start it. There is another option. You can put it together without glue and then glue later on. You can take some parts off that are sort of structural parts. I'll show you at the end of it if you want to bypass the gluing operation. The ones that really matter for structure and stuff that should be glued afterwards. So if you want to put it together and you don't have glue, I can show you that after. All right, so step one. Oh, and it's nice to have one of these. Uh, um, electric drill with a number two Robertson bit on the end. And the nice thing about uh, the Robertson head screw is it's, a, it's got a square uh, indentation which gives it a real nice a positive grip on the screw with the, the square bit. These are Quadrix head screws which allows you to also use a Phillips uh, screwdriver bit which people call a star bit but it's not a star, it's like a cross shape, a plus sign shape. You can also use the, that type of screw for this job. But I, or a screwdriver I mean. I would recommend a Robertson screwdriver or a screw gun with a Robertson bit if you can get that. Second choice would be uh, number two Phillips uh, screwdriver or screw gun bit. Okay, so the first step is to join the sides of the chair with the legs of the chair. So I've already got the sides picked out here. That's the side piece right there. You will have a, a left and a right inscribed in pencil on the on the piece, and it has um, some. We call them uh, countersinks on the one side. So the idea of these uh, the sides is that the countersink goes on the inside of the side when you put them together. So this is basically this is a leg for a chair. This is a side for a chair, <coughs> and you're going to be taking screws, putting them through these four holes into this piece with a bit of glue in the middle like that screwing it together. So let's go right ahead and do that. So first off we need some screws. So we need the short screws because the long screws are only used for uh, in places where um, there's more than a double thickness of wood. So if you screw the long screw through here it will go right through the other side. So it says right in there in the instructions to use uh, the short screws for this particular thing. So there's a so there's a pencil line on the, uh, the leg that will correspond with uh, the bottom edge of the side and we're, they're going to end up going like this. Now there's also uh, pre-dimpled holes here so what I usually do is I usually just put one screw in like this and you can screw in this screwdriver until it just sticks through a bit like that. Then I'm going to be putting it in like this, and, and it goes right into that little the, the pre-dimpled spot there. And I'm going to put a bit of glue on this surface here. I'm going to line that screw up. It's sticking through a little bit on the back. So I just line that up with where it's got to go, which is right there. And that's the piece you're going to be creating. So I will, I'm going to do that right now. So a little bit of glue. Let's put a gob in the middle because when you put, screw the screws in, it's squish, it'll squish it out. 
I don't like to have it go gooping all over the place. So, put my glasses on for this one. Just find where that goes. Like that. Then you'll see like the line, there's a pencil line here that uh, lines up with the bottom ends of this part here. So, put that in. Okay, there you go. This is uh, now a chair side and leg combination. It's going to form uh, the, the one end of the base uh, assembly when it's all put together. Awesome. So do that on the. That's a, that was marked with an R, so there's an R on here for right. There's an R on this piece also. And get the L piece. And with the L side. And go through the same, same operation. Four short screws. to the countersunk side of the board. Then glue. You only have to do it with one of them, get them one of them in place because there's a line there that uh, it, you just put it right along the line and uh, you're good to go. Okay, now I've built two sides of the, the chair. The left and the right. This is the left here. This is the right. So it's going to be facing like that. And uh, next step is to put the front slot on these two pieces. So I'm going to uh, set it like this for now. This, this is the center piece here. So take the front, that's this part here. It's got a sort of a rounded edge on the bottom, six screws. And we use the long screws for this because uh, you're going into end grain and uh, a longer screw works better in end grain because you get more uh, grip into the end grain. So it's, oops, that's a short one. It just gives it a little more strength. And when I'm doing this, I like to put a bit of glue on it. So I'm going to right across from where the screws are on the back side. Just put a little line of it. Like that. Okay, now this is kind of fiddly, this part. Let's take a look at this. I'm going to be putting this. I'm putting this part onto this leg inside. <coughs> Got the, the outside leg, so this is the right side leg, right side, this is the front, so the left side of the chair is that way. And I'm going to put this piece on here. So this looks like it's going to be an annoying job. Uh, the love seats, this is a new video for me to do. They, uh, it's probably easier to have somebody help you do this particular job. There's the flat uh, spot right here. And the front, you just sort of center it in the space that's there. And uh, these two screws here. Try to keep the edge flush with the edge of the, of the board here on the other side. Okay. On the side, now this should be a lot easier to do now. Man, this is a big chair. Okay. Yeah, it'd be nice to have somebody else help you do this. <laughs> <laughs> 